And welcome. This is the live visuals of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's uh, road show, which is coming in from pole bound Jharkhand. Remember, on 13th of this month, 13th November, is when the first phase of polling in the state of Jharkhand is going to take place, followed by uh, the polling in the second phase on 20th of uh, November. Let me go across uh, to my colleague Prabhakar, who's joining us with more details. Uh, Prabhakar, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trademark raid, road show right now. Uh, on the streets of Jharkhand at this moment. Just tell our viewers what's happening in Rachi at this moment and the impact that it is likely to have. Yeah, it would certainly have a big impact, a mega impact. This is a roadshow being uh, held at Rachi. And remember, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi spent the whole day uh, in Jharkhand today. He held two public rallies, one at Bokaro and the other at Gumla. And after returning from Gumla, uh, his uh, roadshow, which is around... 2.5 kilometer roadshow and it would take around one and a half hours. So Prime Minister basically is, is connecting with people. Roadshow is a medium where the Prime Minister connects with people. People get to see Prime Minister from very close quarter and it, it definitely has an effect. And uh, as the BJP uh, leaders were saying that it would certainly have a direct impact on seven to eight seats, seats which are adjoining Rachi and which are going to poll in the first phase of election. So there are Many other road shows which would also happen in 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 Jharkhand in for the maybe for the second phase. So this is the first road show which Prime Minister has undertaken. This is happening as we speak uh, in Ranchi, and it's a 2.5 kilometer long road show which has been uh, planned by BJP. So uh, certainly, Prime Minister, if you uh, listen to the speeches he made uh, at Bokaro at Gumla, Prime Minister addressed the issues of. Uh, of uh, reservation actually being taken away by the, from the tribal uh, voters, from the Dalits and OBCs, and given away to uh, minorities by the JMM or the India Alliance Party. So that is the poll narrative which has been set uh, by uh, Home Minister Amit Shah three days back in Jharkhand, and Prime Minister actually told that line, and he, he, he went on to reiterate that uh, if India Alliance is voted back to power, they would snatch away the reservation benefits from the Dalits, OBCs, and the tribals and give away to the minority and the illegal immigrants from uh, Bangladesh. So that would be the poll agenda of uh, of BJP, and that is what they are contesting this election upon in Jharkhand. The, the idea is to pursue, to garner support of the tribal voters, because remember, Ranchi, Jharkhand being a tribal-dominated state, many of the constituencies, in, in fact, the majority of the constituencies, uh, the tribals are the deciding voters, so they decide as to which way the wind would blow, and that's the reason why both the factions, the India Alliance and the NDA, they are trying to woo tribal voters, Dalit voters, in their favor. And that's the reason why this reservation issue is being taken up uh, by, it was started, to get started, started by Home Minister Amit Shah, and even Prime Minister has lapped this, uh, lapped this up, and both at his public meeting at Bukaro and Gumla, he dwelt upon this uh, particular issue, apart from, of course, attacking the GMM government of uh, indulging in corrupt practices, especially in the in the in the sand quota allotments or the sand tender allotments, I would say, where uh, he claimed the prime minister alleged that there has been the the the, the, the party leaders, the GMM party leaders, are directly involved into it, and they have shifted off huge money, and he promised to the voters that if uh, NDA is voted to power in Jharkhand. He he would uh, he he has given his personal assurance that those money which has been shuffled off by the political parties or the political leaders of uh, uh, India Alliance, it would be brought back to the people of Jharkhand for the people of Jharkhand. And as we speak, you can see lakhs of people standing on both sides of this entire route, welcoming Prime Minister, waving to him, and the party candidates. The party candidates of the adjoining constituencies, they are also on board that particular vehicle on which the Prime Minister is travelling. So, elaborate security arrangements in place. And these are the, you can see C.P. Singh, the a very senior BJP leader from Ranchi. So, all the adjoining constituencies which are going to poll in the first phase and which are in the areas adjoining Ranchi, those candidates have been allowed to be on the same vehicle on which the Prime Minister is traveling so that uh, the people can see them. The idea is to, to make 
them also connect uh, with the people and to ensure that uh, uh, it's the prime minister who is asking <coughs> for votes in for 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 these uh, these candidates yeah i just want to understand from you at this moment prabhakar uh, like you like you spoke about uh, the impact of this uh, what we'll do we'll just up the sound also on uh, this and try and see the atmospherics at this moment because uh, uh, you know we saw in the haryana election where the prime minister did not do as many rallies and road shows as he usually does in jharkhand prabhakar has the bjp pushed the prime minister's face is that election on prime minister's face from the bharatiya janata party <coughs> yeah, it is always uh, the case uh, wherever we have seen the new bjp contesting election so they they never uh, kind of declare the face of the chief minister as far as the india alliance is concerned we already know who the chief minister face is is the sitting chief minister of jharkhand hemant soren but if we talk about the cm candidate as far as the india nda alliance is concerned nda is concerned we don't have a face as of now it is always fought on the party agenda it is always fought on the face of the prime minister and is always fought on the sankalp patra the sankalp patra is the is the promises the poll promises the agendas which bjp actually that uh, for the people of that particular state so if you if you see the sankalp patra which was read out by home minister amit shah around three four days back uh, in jharkhand it uh, it it dwelt upon it basically targeted three communities one was the tribal community for which uh, big promises were made then he talked about women voters and women voters are very crucial wherever you go be it jharkhand or be it maharashtra or for that matter any states because you are talking here about 50% of the voters of the total population of the total voters population so women voters is top on the agenda as far as nda goshna sankalp patra is concerned india manifesto is concerned and they have uh, not only promise uh, that uh, if a property is registered in the name of a woman uh, of the family in that case the complete registration fee will be waived off but also has promised a stipend of 2500 rupees per month to the women who are living below the poverty lines so uh, this uh, present government is already running this scheme but they are giving the stipend of 1000 rupees a month and what they have promised in their manifesto is that if they are voted back to power again in jharkhand that 1000 rupees would be enhanced to 25 2100 rupees sorry 2100 rupees and bjp has even taken it further and has promised 2500 rupees so they are basically contesting there as well, to who women voters and also the youth so these are the three constituencies i would say which bjp or the prime minister is very aggressively pursuing the tribals the women and the youth they have promised a uh, stipend for those unemployed youth who are graduate and not getting a job and that would be a 5000 rupees stipend as they have they have promised and also they have promised 5 lakh jobs in next 5 years which is 1 lakh job per year a government job that is so that that is very important that would actually go a big way in luring and attracting the youth voters the first time voters or the youth voters who are the aspiring job aspirants who are preparing for various competitive exams or for the various government jobs so these are the constituencies which uh, they are uh, addressing and prime minister's speech if you see both at bukaro and gumla today uh, he dwelt upon these issues these three issues he he dwelt upon apart from attacking the present government on the corruption charges so this road show which you are seeing here the prime minister does not make a public speech or anything he is just there waving to people you can see lots of people there are like security arrangements all around and people very eagerly waving to prime minister they have the bjp flag in their hands many of them even have the national flags in their hand and they are all very eagerly waiting for the carpet for the motorcade of prime minister to pass by so that they can have a glimpse of him they can wave at him and have a closer look at the prime minister and you can see the kind of arrangements which have been put in place as far as the security of this particular road show is concerned because the the kind of security which prime minister enjoys in this kind of road show situation it becomes very very tricky for the security agencies as well because prime minister is kind of exposed he is he is very near to people and 
even if they have a security card in around him still uh, it is it is uh, uh, going by the standard which uh, spg follows it is it is always uh, i mean nightmare for spg actually to ensure the safety of prime minister in a road show situation so uh, we were talking to our uh, sources in the jharkhand government and they said that they have left no stone unturned to ensure that this passes off peacefully everybody who is standing there has been allowed after being frisked thoroughly and prime minister is waving to very looks very happy if you see he looks very happy seeing very delighted seeing the kind of crowd which is waiting for him to to greet him and uh, it would certainly have an impact in not only in ranchi but in the adjoining uh, constituencies as well right yeah this is also provocative quite uh, you know out of the book of the prime minister and the bjp his campaign the road show is part of that uh, campaign plan and we have seen uh, many of these road shows now on and off uh, every time the prime minister is out for uh, election campaigning i just want to understand from you at this moment while we are talking about what the bjp is offering what's the opposition's charge the prime minister the home minister all have been speaking about uh, you know the infiltrators uh, we also see uh, prime minister in fact speaking about saath uh, rahenge uh, to safe rahenge all those kind of slogans now coming in uh is uh, is there uh, you know what is the impact of that on the ground and what is the counter of the opposition to what the bjp is saying at this moment so the opposition's counter to this is very simple and that is exactly what they have been saying for long they are saying that here is the bjp agenda to divide the community to divide the country to divide the voters on the basis of religion and they are still pursuing that line so but uh, what would have a certain impact is which they are they are trying to counter when they are addressing their public rallies because if you see clearly what uh, amit shah and the prime minister both of them said they talked about the illegal infiltration illegal immigrants from bangladesh and what they are saying is the kind of point they are actually trying to convey to the voters is that if this illegal immigrants are allowed to settle in jharkhand with the help of jmm government which they allege the jmm is doing in that case they will eat into the resources meant for the tribals of the state for the dalits for the obcs and the ebcs of the state so here they are actually not talking about uh, the illegal immigrants what they are talking about is that this jmm government is actually letting others eat into the resources meant for tribals so if you read between the lines it's the tribal issue they are addressing is the tribal voters they are addressing actually and they are trying to send out a message that the tribal though jmm is considered to be a party uh, a tribal party and it's headed by shibu soren and himan soren who him themselves are tribals but still they are letting others eat into the resources meant for tribals as i told you uncle it's a it's a state where tribals are decisive voters and in more than 70% of the constituencies is the tribal votes which actually decides the fate of the con uh, contestants in free so whether prime minister speaks out or the home minister speaks out or for that matter the leaders of india alliance speaks out they always have this tribal issue in the core that That's is right. the, that is where the, but that is that is always in the epicenter That's right. In fact, uh, uh, let me also bring in at this moment uh, Prabhakar, our colleague Maria Shakil, who is joining us with more details of this roadshow. Maria, like I was uh, speaking to Prabhakar about a very trademark Narendra Modi roadshow, which is going on in Ranchi at this moment. Uh, we have seen this, uh, you know, being uh, one of the key features of Prime Minister's uh, electoral campaign. Just bring our viewers a sense of, uh, uh, you know, what the BJP hopes from. Jharkhand at this moment and how important is prime minister's uh, campaign in the larger scheme of things yes yeah, so ankit uh, look when the bjp uh, before 2019 of course had a full government of raghubar das so they were hoping that there would be a repeat of that government but that was not to be because uh, the bjp's pitch was double engine sarkar uh, and in 2019 the uh, the state of jharkhand saw ma major transition from the bjp to jmm where uh, it was the return to of the regional player the regional satrap which is the jharkhand mukti morcha uh, and uh, you know the 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 party chief uh, who is uh, 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 mr soren heman soren who became the chief minister Minister. but post that i think there has been a realization within the party that loss in jharkhand sends a message to the tribal voters 
because in the neighboring uh, state of Odisha, you have a significant tribal population. Is the neighboring uh, state of uh, Bengal as well. So th- the BJP's pitch in Jharkhand and Prime Minister in particular has been to do with the larger tribal ethos and tribal connect in which they have invoked Birsa Munda, uh, talking about his legacy, about how he would have envisioned the growth of, of, of the tribals across India and uh, how the present uh, you know tribal party the only tribal party of india which is the jharkhand mukti morcha doesn't really symbolize uh, or uh, follow the principles of birsa munda so i think that is what is uh, being shown here and as you said ankit you know repeatedly prime minister modi has next with the uh, with all those onlookers and and the people of in general the masses the citizens because he feels that that actually gives a personal connect when they look at the prime minister who has uh, come to their city and is interacting with them and the manner in which he does it and you know prime minister modi's uh, campaigns have been very very exhausting expansive so in the last few uh, days uh, he has almost crisscrossed the entire state, uh, looking at various pockets of Jharkhand, and of course, Jharkhand goes to polls in two phases. So the first phase of uh, campaigning is going to end, and that is the reason why we are seeing this push. But having said that, Ankit, uh, uh, the BJP realizes that you know they they are a party which believes that every election has to be fought to be won. Right. Uh, and that is the reason why you have a senior party leaders, uh, Home Minister um, you know, Amit Shah himself being involved in the manifesto, and he was the one who unveiled the manifesto along with uh, the party leaders of the ground, which was right. with Babulal Marandi and others. Uh, but, you know, and then we, have, we saw Himanta Biswa Sarma, who is in charge in many ways, uh, parked there in uh, Ranchi, uh, ensuring that if there are certain disgruntled workers, uh, they, their concerns should be addressed. And interestingly, in these elections, the, B, the BJP has gone for sitting getting, which essentially means that, that most of the citizen uh, sitting uh, candidates, uh, sitting MLAs of the party have uh, been fielded again. Right. Maria, before I let you go, uh, you know, just compare this for our viewers to Haryana, because uh, if we saw in Haryana where the Prime Minister did not campaign as much as uh, possibly in other states and the BJP was not expected to win. It was a surprise mammoth victory of the Bharatiya Janata Party in the state of Haryana. After that, has there been a change in strategy as far as the campaigning is concerned, specifically around the Prime Minister? So the BJP certainly realizes that uh, there is a momentum in their favor. Uh, the state of uh, Haryana and, and their unpredictable victory has actually gave that much needed fillip to them. Although uh, much before Haryana went to polls, uh, you know, Jharkhand and Maharashtra, both these states which are going to polls right now, Ankit, were seen as an open election in which it could go either of the ways. Uh, so now with the having tasted victory in Haryana where they were completely written off, the BJP is going all out. And as we have seen always, uh, the Prime Minister is leading from the front even now because in these two states, uh, there is no face per se on which the BJP is fighting. Uh, there is no chief ministerial candidate who has been announced. That is the reason why the prime minister's uh, promises actually have that personal guarantee touch, which the BJP feels means a lot for the voters. And that is the reason why we are seeing prime minister campaign, uh, hold public meetings and, of course, hold roadshows as well. Right, so the Prime Minister is uh, on this road show here in uh, Rachi, in fact, where uh, you can see at this moment these visuals which are uh, coming in, uh, Prabhakar and Maria uh, reporting on this at this moment. Uh, uh, quite a few, you know, <coughs> a lot of people would see these uh, new, new gizmos that you keep seeing now. Uh, this, uh, the, the symbol of the party, the lotus symbol, uh, you know, with uh, LED a light in it and the Prime Minister waving it off uh, also uh, comes across quite innovative as far as the BJP's uh, campaign is concerned. Tomorrow is the last day of the campaigning for their first phase and uh, throughout this street, a three kilometer long roadshow where the BJP workers, common citizens have uh, been lined up on both sides of the road and uh, on rooftops as well. Uh, uh, Prabhakar, if you are still with me, I just want to understand from you, it's a three-kilometer-long roadshow. 
uh, I'm sure the BJP has put in all their might to ensure that uh, you know there are there are massive uh, crowds and the color uh, of a usual election which we can see at this moment. I can see in these visuals from this balcony where you know hundreds of people are trying to wave to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Yeah, exactly, and uh, this uh, entire roadshow, this entire three-kilometer stretch is a residential area. It's, a, it's the area which is uh, which uh, is densely populated, and uh, the BJP cadres over there, the BJP cadres of Ranchi and in and around constituencies of Ranchi, adjoining constituencies, they ensure that uh, there's a, a big enough crowd actually there to greet Prime Minister and. When the Prime Minister Roadshow is announced, uh, you you have a you have a uh, onlookers crowd which is always eager to uh, come forward, wait patiently for two three hours, and just to have a glimpse of Prime Minister pass by. Because uh, in a in a city like Ranchi, they seldom get a chance to see Prime Minister from such close quarters. So usually in smaller cities, you would see these kind of roadshows actually being quite a success. This is a way to connect uh, with masses directly and Prime Minister waves off to people and you can see people actually lining up on their balconies, on the streets, the women, kids. So they're all there. They're, and they're in good numbers. They have been patiently waiting for last uh, three, four hours after going through the entire security check protocol and then they were asked to wait uh, for the motorcade of Prime Minister to pass by. Which and they're, they're happy. They're happy when they get a glimpse of Prime Minister passing by, waving to them, and that they, that is a memory they carry uh, with them for long. And this has a direct impact on the poll results. We have seen it in past that these kind of roadshows actually kind of uh, converts uh, into votes for the NDA candidates in Fay. This is this constituency of Ranchi and the adjoining constituencies are very crucial uh, for BJP. It would be a tough contest over there. So the Prime Minister uh, is doing a roadshow there. It was decided by uh, the senior BJP leaders who are planning the entire Jharkhand campaign. You have Shivraj Singh Chauhan, you have Hemant Bishwa Sarma. So they are the two guys who are in charge uh, of the BJP campaign in Jharkhand. And they plan this uh, roadshow in a place, in an area, which would have maximum impact on the urban voters. That's uh, quite the strength of the Bharatiya Janata Party. The urban voters uh, in the cities uh, now, it was being seen as a very reliable vote bank for the BJP. Uh, but the fight, as Prabhakar was telling us, in Jharkhand is for the tribal vote. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, apart from the tribal vote, uh, Prabhakar, cutting across uh, various uh, sections of the society, the women vote in uh, Jharkhand is once again in the focus for of all political parties, whether it's uh, you know direct transfer of uh, of money to the women voters to various uh, uh, schemes being announced for them from both the BJP and uh, uh, the uh, opposition alliance. Yeah, exactly, and it was uh, actually started as a Maya Samman Yojana. That was a scheme named by GMM government where. The women voters, especially those living below the poverty line, they were given a monthly stipend of a thousand rupees. Now, the JMM, in its poll promise, in its manifesto, has said that if they have voted back to power in Jharkhand, that stipend of thousand rupees will be enhanced to twenty five hundred rupees. In counter to that, when Amit Shah released their Sankal Pati, which is the BJP's manifesto for Jharkhand, he said that that stipend would be continued by BJP. It would be named as Gogo Didi Yojana and it would the stipend would amount would be twenty five hundred rupees per month. So that's a substantial increase from thousand rupees. It's almost more than double of what JMM was already giving. So there are various schemes actually announced by both the factions to woo women voters. The big one is Waiver of registry, the complete registry fee, if any property is registered in the name of a female in the family. So you, you just have to pay one rupee as a registry fee. That would actually encourage and push many of the properties being there in the being transferred or being registered in the name of women in the family and that would eventually empower them. So that is also one scheme which a woman would certainly be happy about because uh, 
they would certainly get empowered if the properties are, whether it's the land, whether it's the house, it's registered in their name. Uh, and because of this uh, excellent scheme, which was already there when the BJP government was there in Jharkhand, when Raghur Das was the chief minister, the scheme was announced then, and it was introduced then. It was being, it was on the ground then. But uh, when JMM came to power, they had scrapped this scheme. So now what BJP is saying that if they are voted to power in Jharkhand, they would reintroduce the scheme of one rupee registry fee for any property, land or uh, building or plot uh, if that property is registered in the name of a woman voter. So the woman voter is something which both the factions are actually uh, trying to lure. And also, as I told you, youth. Youth happens to be a very critical vote bank, the first-time voters or the youngsters who are job seekers. So the huge promises made by BJP for those for this particular segment. Five lakh government jobs is what has been promised by by uh, Amit Shah. Uh, he said in his uh, manifesto release, that is the Sankalpat release, that hum jo karte hai, jo kehte hai, wo karte hai, aur ye hamara wada hai. So it's a, it's a promise which he emphasized would be fulfilled at any cost. Five lakh job for five, in five years, which is one lakh job a year. That's a huge promise for a state like Jharkhand, which is not as big as many other states uh, compared. If you compare it with Maharashtra, it's a, it's a very smaller state. And still, if they are able to give five lakh government jobs to, to the local residents over there, that would actually be a big, uh, big uh, allurement for first-time voters, and that actually might kind right. of... Uh, yeah.